<clears throat> well, alright, let's clear contingency contract uh, 9, um, daily stage, day 1 and 2, uh, Sansu Trails, with the risk 8. Alright guys, this is the new map, so since this is a new map, you will not have all the risk unlocked, right? Initially, you will have only this one, the support one, so you can just use it to... You can use the same strategy to slowly, slowly unlock the risk 8, so you don't need to worry about this. And um, just to do this, clear the risk uh, 0, then you will unlock risk 1. Then take uh, just this 2. You can even take this one, but if you don't want, it's the same. Because to unlock the second section, you have to clear risk 2. So take this 2, and you will unlock the uh, the second section. Then just change this one into this one, and add this one. So you will do risk 5. Because to unlock the risk 3, you need to, risk, to do risk 4. Okay. And then, uh, after you unlock the last one, just add this one, it will be, it will be risk 8, okay? So risk 8, we're gonna do with the challenge, since it's the only risk 3. And um, the squad is like this, with the core operator turns from the support unit, if you don't have by your own. While the rest of operators are really easy to... to... yeah, substitute. Just need a good vanguard. Then uh, add another vanguard, traditional one, if possible, like uh, offensive one. And then um, you need... Uh, Two of your best snipers. Actually, you can add the third one, but this is just for in case of emergency. You, you don't even need to be honest. But because you know those enemies, right? They are, how to say, they doesn't have a lot of HP. But to kill them, you need to attack times and not depending on the damage. So you need someone who can have a high attack speed or someone with the DOT damage, like Ethan first skill. So three of your best snipers. Actually two. The last one you can even bring a level one. Then as a low supporter, your best caster, a good defender, faster to deploy defensive, another defender to stall a special type of enemy. Ethan, Elite 0, level 1, can work, guys. You just need the first skill because it's damage over the time, you can see. Damage for 4 seconds, dealing yeah, damage over the time, basically. So just to get Ethan from their shop, it only costs 150 red cert, if you remember. Uh, yeah, 150. You don't even need to level up. And in the end, uh, core operator from the support unit. That's all we need. Let's do this. I know the music is uh, vibing, is really cool, but when not explain, I prefer to don't have any voice. So immediately, Vanguard here to get DP. Enemies are, will move really, really quick, so be careful. Deploy uh, Vanguard here. If you can manage to deploy in time, else just deploy here. It's the same. Get DP with this one. When you have enough DP, just deploy Torns behind them. If some enemies manage to go through Myrtle, so they will start to go to the blue box, you can just use, for example, Rangers, a sniper uh, with a low attack and to help kill them. If you don't need, even better. For example, in this situation, yeah, you can see. Rangers save the day. Now, after this one, just deploy Ethan here, face on uh, right side. You can see, duty damage is really strong against these uh, spawnings. Now, slow supporter here, face on the left side. Caster here, face on top side to kill this enemy because he's really tanky. Then, a sniper here, face on right side to help kill the spawnings. Torrents of scale when he's ready. As you can see, Rangers is helping here. Okay, when you have enough DP, you can retreat to this Vanguard. Deploy another sniper here, face on left side. You can retreat uh, this uh, sniper, no, this Vanguard as well, to deploy a uh, defender here, to block uh, some enemies uh, later spawning from here. You can, you don't need uh, this defender, if your sniper here and uh, here and the slow support are a really strong one, so you can even kill them without someone blocking. Saving one deployment slot. Anyways, when Torrance uh, is ready, okay, activate, it's basically game over. Now I just have to wait the hard uh, waves. So Benesta now you don't need this sniper anymore, so you can retreat because you have Ethan and Torns ready. This one use the faster deploy to block when he's in Torns attack range, and you can retreat. I mean, if something manages to go through, you still have the Vanguard faster deploy, so don't need to worry, huh? Okay, this is the hard wave, so be careful. If your uh, caster has like um, burst the skill, just activate it to kill this one fast. 
Here we activate this little support to skill. Okay, this enemy, I don't know if you remember, this enemy, like, uh, it, it has four floating blades, right? Its attack will depend on how many blades it has. After each attack, he will lose one blade. So what you have to do is just to lose the faster deploy to let him lose those blades. This one as well. No, it only has one. Because else Thorns will die really quick against it. So be careful. Oh, he's coming. And I pushed him back. So he will spend the attack on uh, Gravel. Killing Gravel, okay. Then use the Vanguard to block again. But at least we will not kill Thorns. Thorns can, uh, if he's around above level 70, I guess he can survive to two hits, but more, no more than that. Now, when this Dragon is here, well, this Dragon will destroy this box going upstairs. But you know what to do. You can just block. Or... Watch here, two enemies remain, three HP. Just let the, oh no 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 this one you have to kill it because this one uh, yeah this one will anyways the last two dragon you can just let them go through but this one you have to kill huh okay I have to kill that just retreat everyone so you don't need to suffer anymore but of course if your operator is strong enough yeah just use the as I said before defender to block that one thorns will kill will kill also the spawning. This one will go downside, use gravel to bait the damage. We'll go here, Thorns will kill as well. I didn't let you to take the one HP, it's just to like to give you more uh, more freedom if someone manages to go leak. So at least you will not instantly lose. Or if you're like you are sure that you can clear it even with the one uh, taking the one HP tag, you can don't pick the redeployment time tag. So your gravel will have a lesser redeployment time. Anyways, here we go. Really simple. Let's take everything. Here we go. <laughs> 